Hi there. This short video will actually answer one of my readers' question who asks how we can add colors to our heading on our WordPress post using Gutenberg. So when this video is recorded, I'm using WordPress latest version, version 4.9.5 version, and also using the latest version of Gutenberg plugin, which use 2.7.0 for today. So let's get started. Say now I have all of my posts, so I'm going to all of my posts here, and then I'm going to edit one of the posts. So say now I'm going to choose the post number two here. So let's click on edit. So let's click on edit to edit the post. So this is the post that we want to edit now or to add some heading. So it has a title, it has uh, many blocks like paragraph blocks, button, and short paragraph and many other things here. So we want to add heading. And now we want to choose the location of our heading. If we want to add beneath this paragraph, then we're going to select this paragraph and then click on add button on the top. But for now, I'm going to choose on this paragraph, so beneath this paragraph. So I'm going to choose this block and then click on add button on the top. And I'm going to choose on heading. So let's type in our heading. So I've just typed in my heading. So I will call it as this is my heading and then hyphen and then right. I'm going to make it as heading two. If you like, you can also choose on heading three. Let's click on heading two first for now. And then let's preview this. And because my localhost does not generate preview, so I'm just going to update it for now. And then I'm going to view posts in my new tab. Then I'm going to scroll down and there it is. Now it has my heading, which is called this is my heading and then hyphen red. And it also has different color here. So if you can notice this, my paragraph has darker black color here. And this heading has kind of uh, grayish. So this is because of the theme. I'm using for now 2017 parent theme. So the original theme, it's not yet modified whatsoever. So I'm just going to select this to view this. So I'm going to select this. I'm using Chrome and then right click and then inspect. And it's called H2. This is my heading, right? And for the 2017 theme, the developer of the theme add already different color for the H2, which is this, with this color, so with the 666 color. So it also really depending on your theme developer. So for example, now you are not using 2017 theme, but another theme, you may also have another color here, which is already written on your theme. So for example, there are also themes that add blue color to your uh, heading to or any other colors. So you can, however, have another colors for your heading to because it is totally depend on your theme or how your current theme is actually coded by the developer. For 2017 theme, it has kind of a gray color here. So now let's go back to the question, how we can change the color. So to do this, we need to go back to our post editor again here. And then while we are having this heading to selected, we can also see in the block sections here that the selected block is heading and it has level H2. You can also align the text, but uh, what is important to change the color is the advanced section. So if you collapse that drop down menu or the, the arrow, and then we're going to focus on additional CSS class. And because we want to change the color, we want to add this additional CSS class. So for now, let's go back here again. And we have this H2. And if we click on more options button, and we want to edit as HTML. At the moment, it shows this code. 
so just add to. So let's click on edit visually again and let's go to the advanced while we having this block is selected. And then here on the additional CSS class, we want to type in our own class. For example, I'm going to type in my heading and then with hyphen, very important, you need to add hyphen over there. And then I'm going to choose on tool and then uh, hyphen again red because I want to have all of H2 that has this additional CSS class, my heading to red, to be red. So once I'm done with this, then I'm going to update it. And then going to view post or right click, open link in a new tab to see how this post is now looking. And it does not change anything. However, if we're going to select this heading and right click and inspect, now we should see the change of this HTML code for this specific H2 class. Now we have the class which is called my heading and then hyphen to hyphen red. So it's called this. It's different than previous state. We also can see that in our post editor while we are having this associated heading, we're going to click on more options and then edit as HTML. Now we have additionally code or class that says my heading, whatever we name it in this box area. So I'm just going to switch back to the edit visually. So now we have the additional CSS class. We define what is the name of this heading to. We can start to stylize this. To do that, we go back again to the front end and we're going to click on customize button to customize this. Excuse me, I forgot to copy this additional CSS class. So what we need to do now is we're going to copy all of this wording in the box without having space or anything. Just copy this and then we go back to our customizer and what we want to target is the additional CSS. Just click that. So right here, we want to add the class. So paste the uh, name of the class here, and then we're going to add the dot on the on the beginning of the selector's name. And then after that, we're going to add space, and then we're going to add the opening curly brackets. And fortunately, WordPress has nice feature, as you can see earlier. It's correcting you whenever you have an error and then it adds you automatically the closing curly bracket whenever I type the opening curly brackets and that makes us easier to work with it. And then we're going to uh, stylize this. So for example, we're going to change the color as red. So we're going to type in color and then colon and then red and then smile colon. Now it changed instantly that this heading is now becoming red. So let's change now, for example, as background. Background and it's type for us and you can add dash or you can just say it as background. And I do not want to change the background as red, but I want to change the background as yellow, for example. You can do a lot of things here. So because this is a simple uh, example, I do not want to go deep to the coding of CSS style. So I'm just going to change the color. Color and then I'm going to choose as red, for example, for now. There it is. And once you are happy with your customization, you can just click on publish. So once I publish it, now it's changed this heading to have another color rather than the CSS style that the theme developer is written for me. Please note that if you plan to edit your default theme, you will need to create child theme. So the link on the child theme video, I will paste the link below this video. So now when I'm done with my simple customization for this heading red, for example, I'm just going to 
close my customizer, then scroll down and you see, I still see that it is red. And on the post editor or in the Gutenberg editor, if I select that block and then I'm going to more options and then go to edit as HTML, I still see the H2 and then the name of the class. So let's try another thing to edit visually and let's change it to H3, for example. And then see what will happen. So make sure that the advanced section, it still has this, for example, and I'm going to update it. And then uh, after update it, I'm going to view the updated post in the a new tab as well. And then scroll down and it still has the red color, even though this has the H3 heading. And this is because it does not depend on what you alter here, but it all depends on the additional CSS class value that you've just added earlier right here. This says if I am going to change it back to H2, but I'm going to change this as uh, my heading and then delete the two and then the one hyphen. So it's just that my heading red, for example, and I'm going just to update it and then view post in a new tab and scroll down and check on my heading, it will not change to the red because I changed the name of the CSS class. So this means that it will all depends on this CSS class value that you've added here. Let's change it back to the previous state so you will not be confused and then update it. And now we will see it's still red. So let's go back to our uh, post editor again. So let's add another paragraph here. I'm going to add this and I'm going to use the shared block, for example, the lorem ipsum paragraph after this heading. And then I'm going again to add another heading and I'm going to name it as this is my heading three, for example. And then for the advance, I do not add any CSS class. So let's click on update and view post in a new tab. And then we should see our new heading tree. There it is. Now we want to stylize this, but with another method. So I'm going to show you another method in Gutenberg. So what you're going to do is again, select that block and click on more options and then edit HTML. Now you can try to edit or to style the specific block in your Gutenberg post editor. Let's go back again to edit visually without adding the advanced additional CSS class right here. So let's try this. Go again to more options, edit HTML, excuse me, and then edit H2. And then I'm going to type in style. and then equal sign and then uh, double quotes. And between these double quotes, I'm going to uh, add, for example, like color and then uh, colon and blue, for example, and then smile colon. So this is basically just exactly the same with our customizer in additional CSS earlier. I just now want to edit right here. And as soon as I do that, uh, WordPress notifies me that this block appears to have been modified externally. Now, if I like to convert to blocks or edit as HTML, so let's convert to blocks for now. When I switch to convert to blocks and click more options again, and then edit HTML of the style or the short code that I just added, it's now deleted because it turns this heading to, to the default block in WordPress. So to stylize from your editor, what you need to do is you're going to uh, use the other method other than the uh, heading. So let's edit visually and then remove this heading to the trash. And again, beneath this, I want to add heading, 
but with style, therefore I'm going to choose on custom HTML. By doing this, you can now read your HTML code. For example, I'm going to add h3, which is called heading 3, and then I'm going to type, and as you can see, WordPress will allow you or will add automatically the closing HTML code that you've just added, and then I'm going to put in the title. And right here, with using custom HTML, you can then stylize your heading. For example, I'm going to add the style again, hit space after the H3 before the right angle uh, bracket, and then I'm going to type in style, and then uh, equal sign, and then double quotes. I mean, if you just type on your quotes, it will also edit the closing quote automatically. So between the quotes, again, I want to have the color and then colon as blue. And then smile colon to close this. Now I can preview this and see what it will give me. It will give me the heading tree with blue color. So let's update this. And then view post in another tab again. And then we're going to scroll down. We have the heading to earlier, which is red. And now we have the heading three, which is blue. Because we edit or we add custom HTML with heading three as our post. So let's check that again in our developer. So inspect this and see what will we get. And actually it is just almost the same with the others. So what would I recommend? In my personal opinion, if you want to uh, be more organized, I would not choose the custom HTML. So I would choose this heading earlier. So this method with the advance. This means if you uh, want a heading for another post. So you can just add your additional CSS class in your other post. So let's now create a new post for now. So add new post. So there it is. Now for this another post, I'm going to publish it for now. Yes, I'm going to publish it and view post. This is the title and the short paragraph and the heading too for another post. Again, it will not show any changes of the colors here. However, if we select on the heading two that we've just added and then go to advanced and right here, we want to additional CSS class and then we're going to type in the same value. So it was my heading and then hyphen two and then hyphen red, for example, and then click on update. And let's see what will we get. There it is. Now, this new post is also having the red color just because we've just added the same additional CSS class from our other post. And I think it's more organized than, uh, you, than using the uh, custom HTML. So I think that's great with the additional CSS class method. I hope this video will help you a little bit. And thank you so much for watching this video. And please like this video if it was helpful for you. Read the video descriptions under this video. And take care of yourself. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.